own guts. It wasn't just a catchy four-word slogan for Clemson. It was an attitude, and it definitely drove them as Dabo Sweeney and Clemson last season came so close to winning the national championship. Those numbers are just damn scary when you think about it. I mean, you can see Watson's record break in 2015 right there, proofs in the pudding. And with so many starters back, Watson, who could be the number one pick in next year's NFL draft, will have a great shot at getting Clemson to the big game again. Naturally, we know it's not just a one-man show for Dabble Sweeney's offense. The Tigers have plenty of artillery elsewhere. Running back, of course, Wayne Gallman saw how good he was last season. And receivers, they're not going to lack in talent there with Artavis Scott returning. Also, don't forget about Mike Williams and the tight end, uh, Jordan Leggett. Um, he's back. Offensive line returns majority of, of that talent that provided uh, so much Responsibility for Clemson's success. The center, Jay Guillermo, is back, along with the reliable left tackle in Mitch Hyatt. Clemson last season averaged um, over 38 points a game. An indication is that they'll do the same, if not better. Bad news if you're a defense trying to stop them. Yeah, one problem with being damn good is the fact that you have bodies to replace. Eight defensive starters. But as Brent Venables proved the year before, they might have been low on experience, but definitely not on talent. You know, under Bendables and Swinney, the recruiting classes continue to be solid, and some of those signees actually enroll early, so that way come August, they're more familiar with the program, like a guy like uh, Dexter Lawrence, 6'5", 340, defensive tackle that should play right away. Complimenting him will be a returning starter in Carlos Watkins. But you do have some losses that you'll have to overcome in that front seven, including we talk about you know Shaq Lawson and uh, Kevin Dodd, the terrific DEs. They have to be replaced. Secondary loses the All-American McKenzie Alexander. But again, it's still a talented defense. Uh, Kondrea Tankersley at a corner. He's back. Clemson has proven recently that they just don't rebuild. They reload on the D side. You can see the six-pack of games to consume. The biggest you see, I think, are the ones at Auburn, at home against Louisville, and, of course, for all the ACC marbles in Tallahassee against the Seminoles. But Clemson will benefit from not having to play the top three teams in the Coastal, North Carolina, the U, and Virginia Tech. Look, the Clemson offense will again be lethal, and the defense, though new at various spots, I think just like last year, will develop as the season progresses. Look for Clemson to go 12-0 and become a factor once playoff time rolls around. That's my look at the Tigers. See ya.